We have a sneaky storm system currently hiding over the Dakotas this Wednesday morning. This is the same system which is expected to become a surprise nor'easter this weekend, bringing lots of rain and gusty winds to New England. But something much bigger is on the horizon. Before I talk about the upcoming weather pattern, let's take some time to analyze what's going to become a rainmaker for New England this weekend. This storm really isn't much on radar, so it's better to look at it on satellite. We can see the low pressure center located right around the North and South Dakota border. Any precipitation associated with this system is pretty light right now. It's so weak, in fact, that not even normal thunderstorms are expected today. As we head through the day today, it will very slowly inch its way over to the upper Midwest. By early Thursday morning, a light and narrow rain band may develop, which could make the location of the cold front more apparent. This will propagate eastward throughout the day, with maybe even a few weak thunderstorms developing from Mississippi to Kentucky in the evening. This on its own shows that the system will slowly start getting its act together by this point. On Friday, as the system continues working its way east, a secondary low pressure area may develop off the east coast, helping to draw in more moisture. This will set the stage for a rapidly developing nor'easter on Saturday, with increasingly heavy precipitation and gusty winds across New England. The system will continue developing into Sunday with a healthy low pressure area right off the New England coast. The system should start pulling away on Sunday afternoon, allowing for precipitation to also start slowing down as we head into Monday. So that's the timing for this nor'easter. This will not be anything severe or out of the ordinary, so there's no need to be overly concerned if you live in New England. Rainfall totals overall will be pretty light for most people, with the heaviest rainfall expected from the outer banks of North Carolina into Maine. Areas in the blue can expect about 1 inch of rain with up to 3 inches in the purple. Now it's time to move on to that big pattern change and possibly a major storm system next week. Right after this nor'easter pulls out of the country next week, notice what happens. A large and quite strong high pressure area will move southward and take over the eastern half of the country. If you recall, this is very similar to the pattern we had in the beginning of October. The other thing I'm seeing is much stormier conditions across the west. Notice all the precipitation and low pressure areas being pointed out by this weather model. This is a direct result of a teleconnection which I talk about a lot in my long-range forecasts, known as the PNA. The Pacific North American Teleconnection is basically a pressure pattern over the North Pacific which has a direct impact on the pressure patterns over the US, especially in the winter. We're going to be entering a negative PNA early next week which would mean more ridging over the east, also known as high pressure, with troughing out west meaning low pressure. While it's way too early to pinpoint details, I really think that this pattern will be favorable for some kind of major storm system to develop across the western and central US, but not quite like anything we've seen this month. We could very well be looking at a large and far-reaching storm with heavy snow, severe weather, and flooding. The Climate Prediction Center is also picking up on this potential major storm, showing a large portion of the central U.S. under a slight risk of high winds between October 25th and the 27th, a slight risk of heavy snow, heavy rain, and hazardous temperatures. Just to reiterate, with the CPC highlighting all these threats, it's clear that something significant is developing, which could bring a wide range of impacts. Of course, there's no use looking at exact model runs yet since things will change, so I'll save that for a future video. If you enjoyed today's weather forecast, definitely consider subscribing for future forecasts and updates. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.